outside I saw uh, Michael Portillo, and he seemed to have a, a stain on the front of his trousers. Do you think that's the latest in a long line of uh, government leaks? I think this is a very silly interview. I think you might be right. And I think you're intending it. Sorry, I was just wondering, do you not think it's inappropriate, uh, the fact that you're named after a, a tobacco, uh, for your campaign against smoking? I mean, you got blonde hair, golden Virginia. <laughs> well, I don't think it's fair to sort of take this out on my parents. Right, you know, okay. that, um, I've not. It's my surname that causes me more grief than my Christian what, name. What's funny about Bottomley? Oh, I don't know. Somehow children at school always seem to laugh at really? it as a name. I can't imagine why. Kids are strange. But today, kids are strange. But so long as kids don't smoke, I shan't worry too much. Okay. But I'm trying to sell my house at the moment. Uh, it's a two-bed semi. I wonder whether you want to buy maybe turn it into a hospital. I could take no, one of the beds away. Well, the trouble is that um, we're into bigger hospitals. Uh -huh. And we need, we need sort of a lot of modern equipment. We need a lot of space. Well, my wife's, my wife's take... actually pregnant, three months pregnant. Great. So i got to dash and, and call an ambulance just in case. Uh -huh. uh, you're, well, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Well, you're a great believer in, in giving, making young offenders do more time. I just wondered if uh, perhaps any other herbal remedies, perhaps, uh, perhaps basil or parsley. Um, and also, if, you re if we reintroduce capital punishment in this country, will that just affect London? What do you think? And finally, uh, the government recently withdrew the party whips. Is that a, a good deterrent? Because uh, they've all got spare ones at home anyway. <laughs>